Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a makeup collection video. I'm so excited. I love watching makeup collection videos. So I thought it would be so much fun to film a makeup collection. So we are going to do that. I'm going to show you my vanity and then all of my drawers. This is my vanity. This is me. <laughs> Alrighty, so on top of my vanity, I have my little vanity mirror, flowers, KKW lip, um, my CeraVe moisturizer, my favorite perfumes, the Daisy, and then the Dot, which I got the Dot from Marshalls, and let me tell you, it is thebomb.com. This is one of my makeup brush holders. And then I've got this little setup right here. My eye makeup brushes. This is ooh, my favorite foundation right now, the Too Faced Born This Way, my beauty blender, and then we will move over. I have all of my KL polishes here. And then I have a little mason jar full of cotton balls because your girl needs to remove her eye makeup somehow. And I use the cotton balls. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and do these drawers first. Since I am standing right here in my very top drawer. Sorry, you guys. In my very top drawer, I have all of my foundations and concealers. So, if we look up close and personal, I've got some foundations back there. Those mainly are drugstore foundations. Um, at one point, I was obsessed with <laughs> collecting foundations. I've got some LA Girl Pro, um, and I also have primers in here too. So, these are my most recent foundations. Um... I've got the Nivea Men, recommended by Nikki Tutorials. I used to use it as a primer. I don't really so much anymore, but back in the day I would. And then Peach Too Faced Foundation. I've got, this is my favorite just to, for like cover-ups. Um, I just put it on like if I have a pimple or something and I don't want to wear foundation on my whole face. I'll use this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Giorgio Armani. Dior. The Dior is not really my shade anymore. Um, and then the NARS number seven foundation. I only wore that like one time. I feel bad. Ugh. And then these are my concealers. So I've got the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is the Naked Skin. And then some Drugstore Milani, Maybelline. Um, sample it cosmetics this came in like either a boxycharm or ipsy i used to do both boxycharm and ipsy then i stopped ipsy and i recently stopped boxycharm not because i didn't love it i loved boxycharm but i did stop it so i could start doing fab fit fun um your girl's a baller on a budget so i tried to you know control myself only one subscription subscription box at a time and then this is one of my favorite primers it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, and I also like this um, Benefit Primer, Professional Primer for minimizing my pores, and I really like this one, and this one both for minimizing my pores. This is the Cover, Exit, Cover FX Blurring Primer. And then also a sample of um, the Hourglass. This came in a BoxyCharm too. It's the Hourglass like Veil Primer. Oh. Oh, is it blurry? Oh, there we go. Fail. <laughs> all right, you guys, my second drawer. These are just all of my setting sprays that I use. So my Morphe setting spray. This is a Cover FX um, illuminating setting spray. You have to shake this one really well before you use it. Milani setting spray, MAC Fix Plus. This is just a water. Sometimes I'll use this spray on my brushes before I put on my... Um, like eyeshadow. This is something that I got in a boxy charm. And 
on my favorite setting spray right now. Actually, the Morphe may be my favorite, um, but Urban Decay Chill is also really well. It's one of my favorites too. So, shove all those back there. And then these are my beauty blenders. Don't look at them, they're dirty. They're not all beauty blenders. Some of them, I'll show you one. This one right here. This is an Eco Tools. It's dirty. I need to clean them. I'm gonna clean them after I film this video, okay? Um, but this is my Eco Tools. These you can get at Walmart for like so cheap. And they, I mean, I use these more than I use beauty blenders probably. Third drawer. This is where I have extra brushes. And then, you guys, so many lip products, which is so sad. I got, you know, you want to know something? This, um, I purchased, obviously my Burt's Bees I purchased, probably 90% of this in here, I got in like boxy charms or Ipsy bags. I rarely wear lip products. Um, this is a really pretty collar though. It's ColourPop. Yeah. So I just have a bunch of lip products in here. This is my favorite. Buxom. It's a lip gloss. It is the... Oh, it's not focusing. Come on. You can do it. Okay, well, it can't do it. <laughs> but it's the White Russian. Okay, so that's all in that one. Nothing too exciting. This drawer is not very exciting either. It's just some hair products. So do you guys see all of the, the little things back here? You guys these are just things that I have gotten in boxy charms or ipsy orbe matte texturizing um, living proof nourishing styling cream so much stuff that you've got that I've gotten in boxy charm and then this is just my curling iron um, my wet brush favorite hairbrush. I use it every day. My little te teasing brush. And then these are just the products that I use in my hair every day to style it. So my Aussie spray, um, Batiste dry shampoo. This is hairspray. And then this is just a rusk text texturizing spray that your girl got for $8.99 at TJ Maxx. <laughs> Holla. Alrighty. Last drawer on this side pretty boring. Um, told you guys I used to do Ipsy. I did Ipsy for a very long time. These are just all the bags that I collected doing Ipsy. And then that little bag back there, um, somebody got me for Christmas Mac brushes and they came in that little cute bag. So these bags are so fun. You can use them for like change in your purse or anything that you want. Alrighty. Next side. Alrighty, you guys, this time we're going to work our way up. So this is the other side of my um vanity i just have just you know lotions and body sprays in here um lotion i used to use these on top of my vanity to store makeup in but then i just changed the way that it i wanted it to look up there and then this is just more body spray some hand sanitizer and just some more perfume Alrighty, this drawer is just all of my like makeup remover or if I have masks, different kinds of lotions, um, lip scrubs, things like that. So this is, these are my makeup remover wipes, Neutrogena. This is what I use to clean my brushes. This is one of my favorite things ever to remove my makeup. I just put this on a little cotton ball. Um, it's the micellar cleanser water okay from garnier garnier i think that's how you say it this is my origins drink up intensive overnight mask i have dry skin so i like using that oh to help when my skin's feeling really dry never have used these got these in a boxy charm it says that they're a powder cleanser I don't know. I've never used them. Some Bior strips for my nose. And then I've gotten all of this stuff over here. Um, except for this. This I bought at Myers. It's the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, it is a um, toner. Yeah. But all of this right here. 
gotten in either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Um, so this is just like a little MAC cleanser. These are either masks or lotions. So many little things. Actually got this also in a BoxyCharm or Ipsy bag. It's a Pond's um, deep cleanser. It removes your makeup. So I actually use it like on my, <laughs> I haven't used it on my face yet, but I used it on my hand the other day and it did a really great job of removing my makeup. And then this is just Cetaphil moisturizing cream. You guys, I don't know if you've ever heard of Face Halo, but this one is a little bit beat up. Okay, I've had it for a while now, but this is my Face Halo. All you have to do is get this damp and it removes just damp with I use warm water and it removes all of my face makeup so well if you guys want let me know in the comments and I can do a video um, removing my makeup with this it's amazing I need to buy more maybe I'll buy more <laughs> newer ones because um, I've had this for so long and then when I get my new ones in because they actually have they came out with new like pro black ones and when I get new ones in I will do a video um, pause on the makeup really quick, you guys. This is, <laughs> this is my dog. This is a, one of my dogs. She's a little miniature dachshund. Her name's Arrow. And she's got two different color eyes. Tell me she is not the sweetest. She's so cute. Okay, Arrow, back to filming. Alrighty, you guys. This is my third drawer on this side. This has all of my palettes in it. Talk about favorite drawer no I don't know I can't say that too loosely I love foundations um, but this is one of my favorite drawers okay so let me show you guys all the palettes that I have first palette is the Jaclyn Hill palette you guys this is literally one of my favorite palettes let me open it up just to show you like are you kidding? Ride or die palette right here. I love these tones up here. And then you have pops of colors down here. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm actually almost out of my transition shades up there, which makes me so sad. And this is my favorite lid color. The one that you can see the pan. Alrighty, you guys. I have the Z palette here. Um, just a bunch of my favorite shadows. I have some from Makeup Geek and then some things that I depotted with um, that I had gotten like in BoxyCharm and things like that. Like this bronzer, I know I depotted this from a BoxyCharm. Next palette, I went to Sephora one day and saw this and thought I had to have it. Haven't really used it that much, but look at these. Look at these colors, you guys. They are so pretty. Ugh. I may have to dabble into this palette because, like I said, my transition shades are almost donezo. And that honey butter, that honey butter transition, looks like it is calling my name. Oh, I need to use this. And then I have, you guys, what bugs me, and I just realized all of these were setting in your upside down. Or like to where I couldn't read the things. And then I have the Morphe 350 palette. This may be the first palette that I ever bought. Um, honestly, I think it is. When I first started getting really big into makeup, everybody was talking about the 350 palette. And I bought it. I love that color right there. I'm a rose gold girl. Um, I just love rose gold so much. Subculture palette. There was a lot of controversy on this palette, you guys. But can we just say, I don't know, I'm living for it. I loved it. I, you know, it just worked for me. That Adorn color, obsessed. They're so, I mean, I think this palette is so beautiful. This palette, my boyfriend's sister got for me for Christmas one year. <gasps> no! Crisis! It's okay, you guys. I can still use the palette. <laughs> My boyfriend's sister got it for me one year for Christmas. Um, I mean, it's the Urban Decay 3 Naked Palette. You guys already know how good these palettes are. Beautiful. This came in a BoxyCharm or, well, it had to have been a BoxyCharm. I think, I think. It came in something because I don't, I didn't buy this. I know that. It, I think it's 
it's trying to uh, be similar to like the Naked palettes. I mean, the colors in there are so pretty. I got this also in a BoxyCharm Tarte palette. You guys can see those colors there. This is also really pretty. I really need to dabble into some of these palettes more than I do. Um, I just, ever since I got that Jaclyn Hill one, I just have been using it nonstop. I got this in a BoxyCharm. I got this in a BoxyCharm also, Alamar Cosmetics. Um, you guys, the colors in this palette are so gorgeous. Look at those colors, those shades, so pretty. Crown palette, this also came in a boxy charm. Pretty, pretty. And then this came in a boxy charm. I'm not gonna open all of them for you guys. This blink little thing came in a boxy charm also. And then these I've had forever. Um, this is a Pacifica Naked Cosmetics. And then these three little Morphe palettes that they used to have. I don't know if they still have these or not. And then this, the Nudes Maybelline. I never use this anymore. I may actually give this to like, I don't know, maybe my sister or if anybody, if somebody wants it. Alrighty, you guys, last stack of palettes. This came in a boxy charm. It was the Laura Lee Party Animal. I have never used this palette. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if it's good or not. Never used it, but it has lots of pops of colors. This came in a boxy charm. This came in a boxy charm. <laughs> You guys, this came in a boxy charm. I'm not kidding. All of these came in boxy charms. Okay, this also came in a boxy charm. If you guys have never tried boxy charm, I'm telling you, you need to try boxy charm. Look at this ColourPop palette. It is so beautiful, and ColourPop has such good shadows too. You guys, this is also one of the first palettes that I bought. I'm reminiscing. Meet Matte Nudes. I loved this palette. It doesn't look like I touched it, but I swear I did. I love it. And then last palette here. That dun dun da came in boxy charm. This pure palette. And these colors are really pretty in this too. Alrighty, you guys. Second to last drawer. This is my face um so i've got like contours bronzers blushes in this drawer look it is just full um so a lot of this stuff came in boxy charms also i mean so much from ipsy and boxy charm you guys that is what i have a lot of my collection from look this is a blush i mean this is a blush you guys i've got stuff back here bronzers blushes um i won't get into these too much these are like old um older palettes that i've had but here i i got this in a boxy charm you guys this in a boxy charm are you kidding me okay i just opened it for you guys look it is so beautiful hi you can see me in the mirror hey girl <laughs> Look though, it is so pretty. I love it so much. Um, got an Ofra in there. You know, this came from Boxy Charm. Also, this came in a Boxy Charm. Is the Tardiest Pro Glow. Um, this came in a Boxy Charm. It's the Champagne Pop. Um, I think that I bought this. This came in Boxy Charm. Either Boxy Charm or ipsy i'm pretty sure boxy charm though probably i don't know uh i i want to say boxy charm um it's just blush so look at those well that's a blush i think this is like a blush highlighter adoration yeah adoration that's what this palette is um 
This is my favorite blush right now. It's the Burst, Burt's Beeswax and Toasted Cinnamon. You guys, this is my Hula Bronzer, Bahama Mama Bronzer. I love these. Um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. So good. This is number 7 bronzer. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is my go-to highlighter. I use this every day pretty much. And Marc Jacobs. I bought this from um, Marshalls actually. This is Marc Jacobs. I think it's like a face powder, but I use it for bronzer. Because it's dark. Darker than my skin tone, which is perfect for bronzing. So that is all that's in this drawer. Last drawer. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. Um, you guys, I don't really use false lashes, but I do keep some false lashes in this drawer. These false lashes I have gotten from BoxyCharm. Either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I'm pretty sure just BoxyCharm, though. I don't think that Ipsy... I ever got false lashes from Ipsy. These are House of Lashes. Maybe one day I will... You know, maybe one day I'll be able to apply, apply false lashes. I just... This is a the brow gal. This is like an eyebrow um, palette for my brows. But you know, right now in my life, I just I don't apply false lashes. These are Baddington false lashes. These came in a boxy charm, and then you guys, I got some Duraline here. Um, these over here, I have. Wait, no, right here right here your girl's got some liquid eyeliners um i got some tape in case if i want to you know tape to have like a really sharp cat eye or something but yeah i use the Duraline for my liquid eyeliners and then these are just so many eyeliners maybe some brow brow products thrown in here um but mainly i've got eyeliners eyeliner 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 this is brow this is eyeliner just a ton of eyeliners and then down here, I've got my main go-to things that I use. So this is the Brow Gal. It's just a microfiber um, to set my brows. I've got my Lash Paradise. This is my favorite mascara. This is by Essence Make Me Brow. It's also just another setting gel for my eyebrows. This I got in a boxy charm, and it is Unleashed volume and curl mascara and then this is my favorite eyebrow pencil um honestly i'm pretty sure this is like one of the few eyebrow print eyebrow pencils that i have ever tried but it is so good i got it in a boxy charm too you guys i'm telling you i loved boxy charm so much um i just wanted to try fab fit fun boxes for a little while so that's why i stopped getting them but this is my eyelash curler and then you girls got some tweezers and just like a pencil sharpener in here Alrighty, that was my collection video um, of my makeup and everything that I have. So if you have any other video requests, just drop them down in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!